Well, today we're in Wapping and we're, I'm going to be sculpting Ruth Posner, a Holocaust survivor. She was an actress and she's 90 years old and she, they're all so fascinating, really, these people, in so many different ways. She looks very, very pretty, extremely pretty for a 90-year-old lady. I wasn't completely prepared for it, but I, I really feel very excited about it which is being immortalised, having a sculpture made by a wonderful artist, uh, which I found very exciting. She had a very good, loving childhood, up to the age of uh, 10, when the war started. And that has, has given her a very strong personality, despite what has happened to her subsequently having lost her parents at Treblinka and having lost the rest of the family. She came to England through the help of an English squadron leader who she met at, at, um, at the end of the war. She went into life with, with, with great strength um, and great willingness to, to survive. Made a, a very interesting career for her dancing and made a very interesting career for herself as an actress. She has great humour, she's got great warmth and great understanding. Frances uh, Siegelman is without question a hero. She works at a rate that is unbelievable. Her talent is... After less than two hours, I'm looking at such an incredible likeness, which once she's finished with her work on producing the bronze and so on is amazing work, but she produces it at a rate that's fantastic, with a level of commitment that's huge, and fantastic generosity. It is amazing. Uh, we had a little talk. I found that she's a true artist, creative artist. She didn't go to school, she didn't study art. It comes from her, and the creative creativity pours out of her. I found that very exciting. I, I think Frances is amazing, absolutely. Knowing people who have that skill, um, it, they express it very quickly. Uh, they have an eye which, uh, and a, a facility between the eye and the hand uh, to produce likenesses. Um, I admire that enormously. This will be my 16th Holocaust survivor that I've sculpted and it's amazingly worthwhile work. There are stories that live on through these sculptures where people can see the people concerned and certainly it's not just even a question of likeness, like Ziggy Shipper for example. When you see Ziggy Shipper who's no longer with us, you, you, me, I certainly feel like I want to start talking to that sculpture because that is Ziggy Shipper. I'm, I'm speaking, you, the character is in that face, never mind the likeness. 